Hallelujah. And also, without your seatmate, you are a beautiful creation by God. Meron pang nag-reaction? Amen. So, lahat po tayo, we have a special creation by God. So, we need to give the best praise to our Lord. Amen. Hindi tayo magpapahawala in our neighbor, but our heart and mind, let us keep keep up to the Lord tonight. Amen. Whatever situation that you have right now, the Lord is here. He will remove everything na hindi bilang sa kanya. Amen. Let us bow our head and close our eyes and let us pray. As we go into pray, let us uh, acknowledge the goodness of God in our life. To speak and start to give thanks to the Lord. Hallelujah, Father. Yes, oh God. Our heavenly and a good, good, good Father. Lord, we just want to thank you for this beautiful day that you've given us, oh God. Thank you for the light that you impressed unto us, oh God. Thank you for the strength, thank you for the love, and thank you for all the blessing that you always bestow in our lives. Lord, tonight as we come before you, we humble down ourselves, O oh God. We ask, O oh Lord, to bless our heart and mind that can enable us to worship you in spirit and truth. Because that is our heart desire, O oh Lord, to worship you with joy, O oh God. Yung wala kaming mapagsigitan, Panginoon, how we can lift you up in our life, O oh Lord. And tonight, O oh Lord, truly, O oh God, that you are faithful unto us. Thank you for the strength na nilingan mo sa buhay na yung Panginoon sa aking pagtatrabaho, O oh God, to bring us in this place with our bread friends, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your unending love. Our Lord is not enough to give you thanks, O Lord, but here our life surrendering unto you, O God. And tonight, as we sing a song to you, as we give you praise, O Lord, let us be this, O Lord, a song from our hearts with a sweet aroma unto you. Thank you, O God. We pray, O Lord, for the rest of the time na aming pagsasama, let your Holy Spirit move in this place. And let your Holy Presence, O oh God, captivate our hearts and minds, O oh God, that no one can distract us to leave your name on high. Thank you, O oh God, for remembering our brothers and sisters that's on the way. Let your love and protection be upon of them, O oh God, that we can meet them, O oh God, to praise you. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you thanks. And all glory is belong to you. Praise the Lord. Once again, can we give a clap of praise to the Lord? So are we ready to dance to the Lord? Amen. So we are ready to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah.
only to you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your presence, so my oh God. Indeed, oh Lord, you are here in our midst. You want us to experience more, oh God, in our life. So my oh God, speak unto us. Allow us, oh Lord, to sing a song, not only from our lips, oh God,
of your son Jesus Christ. We don't want to waste our time tonight, O oh God, but we want to focus our heart to you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you've done in our lives, O oh God. We give our praise, our praises unto your name. We give you thanks, O oh Lord. We give you our highest praises, O oh Lord. And all glory belongs to you alone. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. And everybody says aloud. Amen. 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 All glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Hallelujah. So praise be to our lady and loving God. Amen. Did you notice that time flies so fast? Amen. In less than seven weeks, Amen. 2023 is over. Tama po ba? Amen. So, blessed evening po for all those who are here in the in our ano, worship hall. And for all those who are joining with us in Zoom. So, alam ko po na ang bawat isa ay excited na. Are you all excited to hear the fresh manna that comes from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Amen. Para mahina, lakasan natin. Are we all excited to hear the fresh manna that comes from our God? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Pag-blessing na pakalakas. Hallelujah. So, tell to the person beside you, left and right, front and back, I'm glad you are here. Amen. Praise God for all those who came from their work. Hallelujah, we pray for strength that comes from the Lord be a fine to each and every one of us. Amen. And for all those who are not able to come because of because they are sick, we pray for their healing. Amen. In Jesus' name. So by next week we will see them again and uh they will they will be here to worship with us. Amen. So in line with our team for tonight, po. Uh, it's about kingdom provision. So the principles of kingdom giving. So that's our theme for the month of November. So the title of my message for tonight is about the power of generosity. Amen. Do, do we all know that there is power when we give our everything to God? We will not just talk about our finances, amen, but we will talk about our whole life, amen, to the Lord. So, amen. So, our key verse, shall we all rise up and uh, let us honor the Lord in reading His words? So, in, uh, our key verse is in 2 Corinthians 8, 2. Shall we all read? While they were being severely tested by suffering, their overflowing joy along with their extreme poverty has made them even more generous. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we praise, we glorify you, we acknowledge your holy presence in this place, and we believe, O Lord God, that you will do great and mighty things in our lives, O Lord God. Let, let your Holy Spirit be our teacher tonight and help us, O Lord God, to keep it in our hearts, O Lord God. And may this be uh, uh, in the future, O Lord God. Soon, O Lord God, we will harvest the, the fruit, O Lord God, that comes from your seeds, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Let us all be seated. Hallelujah. Let us first define what generosity means. Amen. So, sabi po doon, generosity means a willingness to give help or support, especially more than is usual or expected. That means this is not what we are doing like an ordinary help, and not an ordinary support. Amen. Sabi po doon, that's generosity. So, this means that we are ready to give, amen? Happy to give time. Sabi ko nga po kanina, not, our, not just only our 
money, but happy, we are happy to give time, our money, our food, our kindness, amen, to all the people and to all those who are in need, amen. So, I believe that it's very seldom in our church, no, or in other churches, to preach or to, to be shared this kind of preaching. Amen? For my more than 10 years in Gia, it's very seldom. But praise be to our God, I know that uh, those who are here and joining us in Zoom, this is a great privilege for us and great opportunity for us to know because through our giving, it unlock the blessings that the Lord is that is stored for us. Amen? Do we believe on that? Amen. Through our giving, I will, I will uh, repeat to. Through our giving, unlock the blessings that the Lord is stored for us. Amen? So shall we all ready to receive the blessings that comes from the Lord? Amen. Amen. So we may not have all what we want, but the Lord supply what we need. So, let us all be very clear that uh, the Lord didn't tell us that I will give you, I will supply you whatever you want, but whatever we need. So, need and want is totally different. Amen? So, we can still eat three times a day. Sino po dito ang hindi nakakain ng three times a day? May pinabayaan ba ng Lord? We are all three. Amen. Actually, more than three times pa, including Miriendas. Amen. That's how generous our God is. He can supply every need. So one, one of our basic needs is our food. So we are just so thankful to God for that. Amen. So God's ultimate desire is to bless His children. Not to live in complete comfort and luxury, but to be mightily used as a channel of blessings in the kingdom of God. Amen? So, hindi po pinoprovide ng Lord yung mga wants natin for us to be comfortable. Amen? Kasi pag pinoprovide ng Lord lahat malamang. If the Lord will provide everything, whatever we want, for sure, we will not, we will not call unto the Lord. Amen? Do you believe on that? Kasi mayroon na tayo lahat eh. That's why the Lord is teaching us tonight kung papaano po natin may experience yung overflowing blessing sa ating po ng Panginoon. Amen? So when we give generously and sacrificially, it doesn't mean that God needs anything. In fact, He owns everything. Amen? But it is showing our love, our obedience, our trust, and gratitude to God. So it shows our love to Him. Amen? It is acknowledging what He has done to each and every one of us. Let us always remember what the Lord did and what He is continuously doing. Amen in our lives and what He will do in our lives. Amen po ba doon? Amen. Amen. So, giving our treaties, ano po yung treaties na yun? Time, treasure, and talent to God is an expression of our worship to Him. So, let's proceed po. 2 Corinthians 8, 1-5 Shall we all read po? Brothers and sisters, we want you to know how God showed His kindness to the churches in the province of Macedonia. While they were being severely tested by suffering, their overflowing joy along with their extreme poverty has made them even more generous. I assure you, I assure you that their own free will, they have given all they could even more than they could afford. They made an appeal to us, begging us to let them participate in the ministry of God's kindness to His people in Jerusalem. 
They did more than what they had expected. First, they gave themselves to the Lord and to us since this was God's will. So in this passage, po, Paul is telling that the churches in Macedonia knows how to, to honor God through their giving. Despite of their suffering, sabi po doon sa verse 2, no, in our main verse, despite of, our, despite of their suffering, along with their extreme poverty, just imagine, they were very poor. No? But their joy is overflowing. Amen? And it resulted to make them even more generous. Ganun po, ganun po ba tayo? Amen? Na uh, sabi po doon na yung, yung quote natin in Tagalog na isusubo mo na lang ibibigay mo pa sa iba. Amen? I hope that every one of us will, will learn tonight how to be generous in the kingdom of God. Amen? Kasi sometimes tayo po, human nature, no? Kapag konti na lang yung nasa wallet natin or konti na lang yung naitatabi natin, we keep it. Lalo natin po kumikip kasi alam natin it's very limited na lang yung resources natin. Amen? But what happened in the churches in Macedonia despite of their extreme poverty, they even give more than what Paul or what churches expected. Amen? Just imagine the kind of generosity they have. Amen? So today po, I will share three biblical principles on, uh, on how giving teaches us in the kingdom of God, on how powerful generosity is. When we give our treaties. Ano po ulit yung treaties? Kai? Treasure. Correct! Galaling. Praise the Lord. Time, treasure, and talent. Amen. So, number one po, giving teaches us to strengthen our faith. Amen. Why? Sabi po sa Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, shall you all read? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him and He will make your path straight. Amen. Giving requires our faith. Praise the Lord. So the more we give, the stronger faith we will, we, we will have. Amen. So this is true because we discover that we cannot outgive God. Praise the Lord. Amen. The more we give, the more He provides us the ability to give. Amen. Sino po makaka-receive ng kapag close ang kanilang mga palad? Just, just try to close your palm or your hands. Amen. Do you think you can receive something from, from someone? Amen. Kahit na gusto kang bigyan yan, if it's close, you cannot receive it. Right? So we have to open it. Amen. Sabi po doon sa, sa Luke 6.38, Give and it shall be given to you. For the measure you use it will be measured back to you. Ano ba yung measurement natin tonight, mga kapatid? Amen. What's our measurement? Kasi it is the word of the Lord. Amen. So every, every time that we show our generosity out of our loving heart, we st yeah, he, st he strengthens our faith, amen, and become more like Jesus. So giving is the discipline of learning to trust God. Are we trusting the Lord? Amen. Na kapag kahit nawala tayo ng work, amen, or wala na tayong natitira sa ating wallet, amen, ganun ba tayo na nag-worry? Are we the two worry when we don't have anything in our pocket? It says in 1 Timothy 6, 18-19, wala po dyan sa aking slides, sabi po dito, when we are giving, we are actually investing in eternity. 1 Timothy 6, 18-19, command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. In this way, 
they will lay up pressure for themselves as a firm foundation for the coming age so that they may take hold of the life that is truly life. We are we are uh, investing amen, in eternity when we are giving what is due to God. Our three is amen. So the, the, the example given in um, in Mark 12, 41 to 44, shall we all read po? As Jesus sat facing the temple offering box, he watched how much money people put into it. Many rich people put in large amounts. A poor widow dropped in two small coins worth less than a cent. He could he called his disciples and said to them, I can guarantee this truth. This poor widow was given more than all the others. All of them have given what they could spare, but she, in her poverty, she has given everything she had to live on. Amen. Familiar, is it familiar to us? Amen. We we always heard this during our tithes and offering. Amen. So just imagine that that ano po, that uh, scenario or that situation. So Jesus sat down near to the offering box. Amen. So he sees everyone who gave their offering to the Lord. So many rich people give large amounts, and the poor widow offer two small coins worth less than ten. So Jesus observed their offering, so he called his disciples and told them regarding the offering of the widow where Jesus Christ was pleased. Just imagine, po, no? So he was pleased and said that this poor widow was the biggest offering, yet she just offered two small copper coins with with very little, with little worth. Just imagine, no? That means the Lord is not looking into the amounts that we are offering to God. He is looking into the sincerity of our heart. Amen? In our faithfulness to Him. Hallelujah. So let us focus to this poor widows, poor widow offering, who gives not generously, uh, not only generously, but sacrificially. Amen? Amen? So she gives to the point of having nothing left for her needs after giving. Just imagine, po, no? He did not even think of for tomorrow, no? He did not think of what she will, she will, uh, no, she will eat after she will give the two small copper coins. That, that, that's the only uh, coins that she, she had. Just imagine, po. So that's the power of giving in her life. She had that kind of faith and she fully trusts God. Amen? Tell it to the person beside you. Are you that kind of person who truly, truly trusts God? Amen! Ano sagot? Amen! We trust God in everything. Amen po. Let us be like that poor widow who gave everything what she had out of her poverty. Wala niya pong natira sa kanya, but she still chose to give what is due to the Lord because she fully trusts the Lord. Amen. Kapag po tayo yung naging principle po natin yung giving, ay ganun po. The Lord can multiply. Amen. And He will enable us to bless others too. Kasi mag-overflow na po yan. Amen. So, number two po. Giving teaches us to draw closer to God. Ano po yung number one? Giving teaches us to strengthen our faith. Number two. Giving teaches us to draw closer to God. Amen. Matthew 6, 21, shall we all read? For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So when we put our treaties, 
time, pressure, and talent, and our life, our lives, no? That's where our heart will be. Saan na ba ang ating mga puso ngayon? Amen? So where do we want uh, where do, so where do we want our heart? If we want to be more like God, then we will also want to be closer to God. Amen. It is just like kung kailangan kung, kung gusto po natin maging close, for example, no, to to uh, other person. Amen. Gagawa gagawa po tayo. Kailangan natin kilalanin. Amen. Kailangan po natin kilalanin ang ating pong Panginoon. Amen po. So, when we give out of a heart of love and compassion, we will find ourselves next to God's heart also. Amen. 2 Corinthians 8.7, it says here, shall we all read? Since you excel in so many ways in your faith, your gifted speakers, your knowledge, your enthusiasm, and your love from us, I want you to excel also in this gracious act of giving. Amen. This is part of uh, yung pong continuation ng ating pong binasa kanina. So in this passage, Paul is telling to the churches in Macedonia that through their giving, they are being spirit, spiritually matured. Amen. So, doon pala magiging mature tayo, magiging uh, uh, yung ating paglakad sa Panginoon ay magmamature tayo if we learn how to give. Amen? Sabi po doon na uh, Christian should be like that. So, as our spirit become matured, we should know how to offer our lives to God. Amen? How to be mightily used Amen? In the kingdom of God. And finally, how to give faithfully in the kingdom of God. Sino pong gusto magpagamit sa Panginoon? Amen. Lahat naman pala eh. Amen. Wala pong age limit. Amen po? Lahat po tayo kayang-kayang gamitin ng Panginoon. Amen. Amen. Kayang nga yung mga 2 years old, kayang-kayang gamitin. Basta willing lang po. We have the kind of teachable heart and willingness in our heart. Amen? So, if we are not able to give our treasure or tithes this time, but we have talent, then why not to offer it to God? I know that every one of us has own ability and talent that the Lord has entrusted. Amen? Lahat tayo may uh, kanya-kanyang talento Lahat tayo may kanya-kanyang abilidad. Amen? Why not to offer it to God? Hallelujah. If we can give our best dance in TikTok, in Reels, Amen? Hindi nga tayo nahihiya pag TikTok and Reels. Sino po may mga TikTok and Reels? Amen. O oh, wala nang taas talaga naman. Amen? Then why not to offer it to God? Tama po? Amen. So, ang hina ng amen nyo eh. Number three. Baka mas malakas pa yung nasa Zoom. Hindi lang natin narinig. Number three. Sabi po dito, giving teaches us to acknowledge God as the source of everything. Amen. Deuteronomy 8.18 shall you all read? Remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the ability to, to produce wealth. So it is not by our might, amen, nor by our power, but by the Spirit that comes from our Lord. So that's why we are able to do it. So the strength, the wisdom, the knowledge that comes from the Lord, amen. Are we acknowledging God na siya po yung source ng lahat? That He is the source of everything in our lives? Amen. Amen. That's what we should do, my dear brothers and sisters. Amen. 
Deuteronomy 16, 16 to 17. Shall we all read? No one shall appear before the Lord empty handed. Each of you must bring a gift in proportion to the way the Lord your God has blessed you. I know that all of us receive or are receiving and will continuously receive the blessing that comes from the Lord. Amen? So always remember to be a good steward in everything that the Lord entrusted us. Amen po? Let us all assess ourselves. Am I a good steward? Amen? Sa lahat ng pinagkakatiwala sa akin ng Panginoon. How we are using it? Yung kayamanan natin. Yung pain natin. Amen? Are we a good steward? So, sabi po dyan, everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Amen. Talaga naman pong lahat. Amen. He is the God who is so generous na pinagkatiwala po sa atin ng ating pong Panginoon. You know what po, as per the study, giving to those who are less fortunate, uh, uh, giving to those less fortunate than yourself can have long-lasting physical and psychological benefits. Ano daw po yun? It lowers blood pressure. Amen. It lowers stress levels. It less anxiety and depression. Amen. God's promises to the generous. Amen. Ito po, talaga namang alam na alam natin ito, no? yung promise ng Panginoon. And isa sa mga favorite verse natin, pag tayo po ay nagtatites and offering. And we always heard this. Amen. During our tithes and offering. So, Malachi 3.10. Shall we all read? Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. That's when we be, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessings that there will be not room enough to store it. So, the Bible teaches us that when we give generously out of love for God, we acknowledge the very source of our blessings and wealth. Amen? To be able to give is great feeling and a great blessing. Diba po, napakasarap na tayo, tayo po yung ginagamit ng Panginoon, that we are a channel of blessing to others. Amen po? So, to be able to increase our giving, regardless of the reasons, is even a greater blessing. Kaya nga po, when, when we receive a salary increase, wag po tayong manghinayang na i-increase din natin ang, our, ang ating pong giving. Amen? Kasi that's a blessing that comes from the Lord. So, as we give generously, we will receive more than what we give. Do we believe on that? If we, as we give generously, we will receive more than what we give. So in other words, sabi mo ako kanina, we cannot outgive God. So we always heard it during our tithes and offerings. But the question is, are we practicing it? Amen? Lagi na po natin naririnig to. It's very, very, actually, it's our favorite verse. But, the question is, are we practicing it? So, as I have told you earlier, I'm talking about in general po, ah, not only our tithes and offering. Amen? So, as, as we give our smile, what you will receive? Sige, sm smile to your sick me, to the person beside you. Like, smile back at you, ha? Yes. Amen! Kasi ganun yun, what you sow, you will reap. Amen po? Amen. So, if we give 
our very sweetest smile, we will receive the sweetest smile also. Amen? So if we give forgiveness, we will receive joy and peace in our hearts. Amen? So that's the principle of giving. What we sow, we will reap. Handa na po ba tayong mag-sow? Amen? Because we will not expect the harvest or our reap, reaping time if we will not sow. Amen po? Amen! 2 Corinthians 9.10, it says here, For God is the one who provides seed for the farmer and then bread to eat. Amen. At ang sabi pa po, sige po, let us, let us read. In the same way, He will provide and increase your resources and then produce a great harvest of generosity in you. So when we plant a seed, we don't get a single seed back. Yes? yes? Very true. Amen. We get hundreds of thousands of seeds from just one seed. Amen. So that's the principle of multiplication. So, God will take what you give Him and multiply it. So it goes even further. So, God does it with treasure or money or talent and everything that we are offering unto God. Amen. Kaya kaya niya kung i-multiply ang lahat na kung ano mang in-offer natin sa ating Panginoon. Amen. So let us, I will give you an illustration. When we plant one seed of corn, Amen. How many cup of corn we will harvest? Diba? Hindi ko na po, sana nailagay ko pala yung ano. Napakarami pong, it will multiply. And then again, all those seeds that we harvest from that corn that we we saw, amen? How many seeds again? It multiplies, right? That's how powerful giving is. That's the power of giving. If we ourselves allow the Lord, amen, to be mightily used through His generosity, amen, yung generosity po na 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 receive natin ngayon, amen, I know and I believe that the Lord will continuously bless us and multiply whatever we have. Especially our treaties. And the point of treaties natin, time, treasure, and talents. Amen. Time, treasure, and talents. So, I encourage everyone po to, uh, to help the church to help us in feeding our spirit. Amen? Actually, it's not the church. No? It is for the glory of God. So let us value and honor God through our giving. So be an instrument and invest in the kingdom of God. So your generosity will reach those lost souls who will build their lives to Jesus. Amen. You know what po? Because of your generosity, are you sitting comfortably in your chair right now? Yes. That's your generosity. Amen. Because of our giving, we can pay this, uh, this place. Amen. Just imagine po yung generosity na meron tayo. Because if we don't have that kind of generosity, where are we right now? Amen. We are so blessed Sa Philippines po, no? Kapag nagpa-praise and worship sila, I experienced that tumatagata ang kanila mga pawis. Because they don't have an air condition. Amen? Not all the churches are able to, to buy. Amen? But still, they can, they can still worship the Lord. But we, we are so comfortable. And some of us are sleeping. Dahil sobrang comfortable. Sobrang lamig. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo, natutulog ba? Gising! Amen! Pag natutulog, gisingin mo. Amen? Patulog pa lang. I know. Praise the Lord. 
So, praise God. So, I, I, I encourage everyone on this book. I will give our life testimony uh, through our family how God, uh, how faithful our God is in our life. So, you all know that since 2018, when I got pregnant from my Zoe, I resigned from my work. Amen. But the Lord is so great. He is so faithful. Amen. That He didn't leave us nor forsake us. Amen. Amen. That whatever we need, He supply. Amen. And He He used an instrument. Amen. Just imagine that. Nakapanganak po ako. No? I gave birth to Zoe. No? And provided whatever she needs. Through those people, our families, our loved ones, amen, our relatives, our family, uh, family of God, amen. The Lord is using an instrument for us to be blessed too, amen. And we are just so blessed because the Lord is giving us all those people na kaya kaya dapat pasalamatan natin, amen. So until to this moment po, amen, nag-work nag po ako actually, uh, I tried to work, for like three months, amen. But unfortunately, I didn't continue because nobody will take care of Zoe. Because my auntie, who, who I'm expecting her to come, so she's not be able to come now. So, but praise the Lord, amen. The Lord is so faithful in our lives, amen, that He is still. Uh, Providing whatever we need in our lives. So in our conclusion po, John 3.16, Amen? For me po, this is the best example of how uh, generous our God is. Amen? God's gracious generosity. Shall we all read? For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So, this first po um, show how uh, God loves us so much through, actually, this is very, very, uh, yung pong best example na natin talagang pwede, pwede natin makita at palagi natin will always remember this. No, Let us keep this in our heart. Amen sacrificial giving. Why? He sacrifices one and only son for us to have salvation. Just imagine the best gift that we have received. Amen? And in Genesis, the whole cha yung chapter 1 po, makikita po natin yung God's wonderful creation. Amen? Where he created everything on this earth, just imagine po, he, he prepared everything, whatever we need, before he created us. Amen? Alam po ba natin yung story nun? That yung God's creation? Amen. Just imagine po how generous our God is. He created everything, whatever we need, before he created us. Amen. Let us always remember the greatness of the Lord in our lives and be always thankful for whatever He is continuously doing for us. Amen po ba doon? Ang hina naman. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, tonight po, our prayer, if God prosper us, Amen? Let us raise the standard of giving, not our living. Amen? Let us, let us ask God to help us through this. Kasi, minsan, if God blesses us more, no, when we receive an increment, amen, dun din, dumanaki din po yung expenses natin. No. But, ask God to help us na mas ma-raise up ang ating giving sa Kanya. So, amen? So, let us choose to be an instrument or channel of blessings to others so that the power of being generous in our lives 
will be seen. We will experience an overflowing in our lives. Who want to receive an overflowing blessings? Amen. Raise your hands. Amen. Alam ko lahat tayo. Amen. To the overflow, Lord. Amen. But let us practice it. Amen. Let us trust God. So, praise God. Yun po ang aking uh, sharing for tonight. Amen. So, praise the Lord. Amen po. Um, Bala ko lang po kayo sa ating eyes and offering. I know. Is it clear? Yes. Amen. So, let us put, let us put the offering box. I know that uh, if it's not yet ready, then take your offering right now. Take your eyes and offering right now. Amen. If it's clear, I don't, I will not share about it, yung tithes and offering, but we will pray for that. Amen? So let us, if it's ready na po, let us all rise up. Amen? And let us offer the best gift, amen, that we can give to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen? Sabi po natin kanina, we will offer the best, amen, the best gift. Amen? Let us raise our tithes and offering to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Panginoon, uh, we thank you, we glorify you, we magnify you for tonight's teaching, O Lord God. Help us, O Lord God, that each and every one of us, O Lord God, will be generous, O Lord God. Hallelujah. In all aspects, O Lord God. Help us, O Lord God, that through giving, O Lord God, our faith will be increased, O Lord God. That our um, our relationship, O Lord God, will have that kind of drawing closer to you, O Lord. And also, Lord, we will acknowledge that you are the source of everything in our lives. Lord God, thank you, O Lord God, even for the tithes and offering that we, we will offer unto you. We ask, O Lord God, to bless this and multiply, O Lord God, Hallelujah. Thank you, O Lord God, for all the source, O Lord God, the instrument, O Lord God, the channel of blessings that you are using, O Lord God, for these resources, O Lord God. And we pray, O Lord God, that it will be used mightily for the expansion of your kingdom, O Lord God. Hallelujah. And for all those who are not able to give, O Lord God, we pray continuously that you will give, O Lord God, the uh, the ways, O oh Lord God, on how they will give faithfully to you, O oh Lord God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we praise you, we glorify you, O oh Lord God. We know that you have in store for us, O oh Lord God, to the overflowing, and we wanted to receive it, O oh Lord God, right now, through this giving, O oh Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you and we glorify your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, O
Praise God. Amen. Are we blessed, church? Amen. Amen. Let us move forward to our announcement. Any new powers po? May I call on our new powers? Nana? Yep. Can you invite me? 